everybody Norm over here, and I've got two of my friends, Steve Correa, Herman Lee over here. And uh, Herman is one of the most decorated metal guitar players in the world. I mean, you've done so many things. And also on the game, you know, for gaming, uh, you have themes on that, right? And for Guitar Hero and all that kind of stuff. Um, tell us a little bit about, you know, uh, some of the stuff that you've been doing. Um, apart from, you know, playing in the band for more than 20 years, making albums that people know me as, right? The musician, they go on tour, play guitar. Um, I do a lot of, um, I actually do a lot of stuff on YouTube, so on the Dragon Force channel, you know, we have over a million subscribers. I'm very present um, on Twitch, so I stream Tuesday to Friday, talking about guitars, playing guitar, teaching, you know, kids, fans how to improvise, um, setting up guitars, all the important stuff that I love about guitars that sometimes, um, you know, is not kind of coming across, I think, um, in the way I like to put it. Well, all I can say is, is that, you know, both these guys, and Steve is a great player. He's wearing a mask because he's going to visit his mom, who uh, he wants to just keep safe, keep her safe, you know, and the piece thank of Tiffany you glass, so. it's always a good idea. So, um, but I just want to say thanks to Steve, uh, our buddy Jason Becker, who has ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, and we've told you about him before. Um, he was a young guitar player destined to be the next Eddie Van Halen. And Eddie was a fan of, of Jason Becker. And amongst all these other great guitar players. And Steve, who was a fan of Jason. Um, Big fan. <laughs> helped raise money because Jason, I mean, he writes music, but only with his eyes and a computer right now. And he's such a fantastic musician, he can still do that. So, um, you know, so we're trying to help Jason. He's a great guy. And there's one donor who donated over a half a million dollars to buy guitars. Something like, well, he actually purchased um, both of Jason's signature guitars, where we have people like Metallica, Paul Stanley, Herman signed. Each guitar sold for $25,000 each. The blue guitar you see right there, $80,000. Wow. His first numbers guitar, $65,000. The, but the, the total that was raised... So the total raised because of this guy is over a half a million dollars. Right. And um, there's one donor who bought a bunch of guitars. He wants to remain anonymous. and uh, But really great guy. He, you know, I mean, when you have ALS, uh, there's a lot of medical equipment that you need and things you know, around the house. And uh, it becomes very expensive. You yeah. Know, as, uh, he, he owns a site called The Neurotic Guitar Player, and Jason's dream was to have these, see his guitars played. He won't be playing guitar ever again, but his dream was to see these guitars played by some of the best players on the planet. And my friends at The Neurotic Guitar Player are making that happen. A few weeks ago, Nita Strauss played it on stage, and she played Schools Out with Alice Cooper. Well, I saw that. That um, was unbelievable. It was, it was amazing. And my, my friend Benny somehow put that together. I don't know how, but he did it. But now we have other people on board. Next week, Doug Aldridge is with the Dead Daisies. He'll be playing on stage with Glenn Hughes. Cool. And we have so many people that have signed up for this and want to do it. And we started, we started a, a hashtag, hashtag awareness, hashtag ALS awareness for Jason Becker. And you're going to see some incredible stuff over the next year. I mean, it's going to be, the people that have signed on kind of blew my mind. So It's great that these guys are rock stars, but they're good people too. Trying to do something good for a great guy. And, you know, it's, it's a terrible disease. I mean, you know, when Jason was struck down with it, he was 19 years old. He was in good health. All of a sudden, very quickly, he started losing all of his uh, motor skills yeah. and all that. And so um, it's great that he's got a friend like you, Steve, <laughs> able to put this stuff together. And Herman, thank you so much for doing this because, uh, you know, Jason's a great guy and he deserves it. And, uh, you know, if, if people can do something for others that are in need, why not? Yeah. Herman was the guy. I mean, there's, of all the people I could have found, I found Herman, who was a fan of Jason. And everything he said he would do, he did a thousand percent more. He busted his ass. Wow. I mean, the appointments. Thank you, Herman. The playing. I mean, there was weeks I saw him, he was playing constantly with Bumblefoot. 
Toast and a boss. I don't know how he did it, dude. I really don't. I'm, my I'm fingers were falling still. off. My fingers were falling I off. I would see it. He's like, I don't know if I could do it again. He'd say, screw it. I'm doing it. Like, it may not be the best, but I'm going to do it for Jason. Yeah. But so this guitar here was Jason's personal guitar yes. when he was really young, yes. right? On the, you can see this guitar on the cover of his most important album, Perpetual Burn. And the people at Neurotic Guitar Player bought that guitar for $80,000. Unreal. And they just want to see it played. That, that's it. And this guitar? This guitar. Herman, you want to take this one? Yeah, this one um, is from our friend Guthrie Govan, one of the you know, greatest guitar players of the modern modern age i gotta say you know incredible super talented guitar player and you know we we got in touch with guthrie and you know he's a friend of jason so yep. he donated this guitar which is actually his touring guitar at the time and he wanted to send something special as a you know big fan he wanted to support the cause and of course raise awareness so this he toured around for a long time this is a one-off um, custom USA Chavelle that was made for him, his personal guitar, and there's mojo in this because you know this. If a guitar's been, if a guitar been played, it's no longer a piece of yeah. tree. It turns into a guitar. And the tone of this thing, I mean, you can hear this vibrate. The tone on that wood is like a modern vintage guitar, you know, ready for someone else to um, to get hold of and play every day and continue the. I think. Um, the aging process of this guitar. So I had the chance to play with this quite a bit um, during the fundraiser because you know I was jamming a lot of people and I would play that guitar, this guitar, and just just to raise awareness. So this is um, you can this is gonna be on Jason Becker's web store for a bit longer. So in case people want to pick this up, you know they can get a piece of the I guess shred guitar history. Oh. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> Guthrie is one of the most important guitar players in the world right now. He is astounding. I've seen him, and I didn't, I couldn't, I couldn't even think straight after the show. He's that good. Yeah, you. I mean, this is a full one-piece neck. There's no scarf joint here, so you know the, the vibration, everything is going to send through the whole whole wood here. It's going to move. It's going to sound better and better and warmer and warmer. This is really well put together. You can see he signed it at the back as well. It's his <laughs> stage setup. Um, it doesn't come with the talent, unfortunately. No. Otherwise, I would have bought it too, you know. <laughs> uh, if I can find a guitar that does that, I'll buy it myself. Yeah, you know, I, I so would be just a little late today. for me, but you know, <laughs> why not? But it's so wonderful that you guys, you know, um, have stepped up for Jason. And also, you know, Eddie Van Halen was a big fan of Jason and a friend. And there's a video where Eddie went to Jason's house. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's very moving. And... Uh, his story, if you uh, want to re you know, see his documentary, it's called Not Dead Yet, and Jason came up with that title. And, he has a uh, sense of humor. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, it's something that people should see and see how quickly, I mean, with this COVID thing, we've seen how things can turn around on a dime. All Absolutely. of a sudden, things are different. Well, for Jason, when he was 19 years old, that's what happened. He was riding high, everything was going great. All of a sudden... Imagine being on lockdown for 30 years of your life. Unbelievable. He's been in his living room. Well, and his folks have been uh, yeah. know, the best. really very supportive and all that. It's great. So, Herman, could you just pick up uh, that numbers guitar? Just play a little something for us. Just show us a little of what it does. <laughs> sure. You get, where did I put my guitar pick? You know what? I never have guitar picks because every time I have guitar picks, someone asks me, can I have your pick? <laughs> so uh, I usually steal everyone's pick. Sorry, it looks like I'm scratching my balls Steve's and pocket. scratching my <laughs> ass to get something. But, you know, I'm using that as an excuse, right? Oh, you got something? Maybe a bit of heavy. All right. Let's, let's give it a go. I'll do my best. I get nervous when I'm like... Put surrounded on spot, by like you did with everyone on the um, show. <laughs> amazing guitars everywhere. So this guitar is very special. Um, it's of course the tribute guitar, the numbers guitar by Kizo. Um, you managed to get the signing process yeah. started here, right? After you started in the store with Albert Lee, and it was that was a big deal for me because I love Albert. But then we Alvin's great. then we got Metallica, Paul Stanley, Chris Broderick, Steve Vai, Steve Vai, Vai at East. You know Benton Court. I yeah. mean, yeah, I know. There's it's the diversity of players on that. I mean, getting with 
getting people like Metallica and Paul Stanley brought us so much attention. I'm so grateful to those guys. And this is of course a more <laughs> a kind of a shreddy guitar it feels really good and it's of course with the maple neck and maple fretboard the attack is very instant and it's a great rock guitar I love um, nice type sound you know I love rosewood fretboard but every time I play a maple neck maple fretboard guitar I say wow this just kicks hard in. just get right to the spot you if you want to be a rock star you want to be showing off you want to be in front of everybody playing your solo you want them to hear you a maple fretboard is probably the best guitar to do the job for that and Jason Becker's skills, you know, yeah, you, yeah. you got to hear it. Yeah, that's, that's the right guitar. Well, listen, uh, I just want to thank all you guys for watching our videos. And we've got some viewers with big hearts. And, you know, I love all the people that watch our videos and all that. And uh, Herman, I know you've got a tremendous following as well. And, uh, and Steve has been like the worker bee, you know, getting all this stuff done. So thank you for doing that for Jason. And what a great friend he's yeah. got in you. you know, lots so. of late nights, lots of phone calls. But it's Jason Becker. I mean, if you have the time and the resources, you can't just stand there and do nothing. Right? If you're you able to it. do something, why not do it? And, and this guitar, Guthrie's guitar, we still have a few other great guitars. And they're up on reverb right now. And I think I've sold already like 16. We sold wow. Joe Satriani's for 50K. Paul Gilbert gave us a wonderful guitar of 40,000. And Steve Luthiker, we got 40, I mean, everyone came on board. And Amazing that these guys have taken the time to kind of help somebody like uh, Jason. So it was amazing just to have all these guitars in my hand. I mean, I, I watched Joe Satriani play the flame on stage three times in three different cities, and it was in my hands, and I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> you know, it's, well, you get it. You, you, I do. You but it's your great guys. to know that these guys care yeah. enough about other human yeah. beings to do something like that. So thank you, Herman. Thank you for doing this. Steve, thank, thank you, buddy. Thank you, you for spreading the word. Thank you for and, helping uh, us. And just we're, we're thankful that we're in a position where we can help a little bit. And uh, if, if there's something you'd like to do for Jason Becker, you know, just watch out for these auctions because there's going to be a lot of guitars and they're going to be played by a lot of famous people. And, uh, and this one guy who bought several of the guitars for a lot of money doesn't want to keep them in the closet. Nope. He knew Jason would want them played. He said, let's get them out there and yeah. have them played. Just, just follow hashtag ALS, ALS Awareness for Jason Becker, and you're going to see some awesome things over the next year. So yeah. have and fun. If, yeah, and if you bought a guitar, play them. Guitars yeah. should be played. Yeah. Not, don't put not, them in a case. Yeah, don't put them in put a them case. Out, put them out. Well, the sometimes wall. you got to preserve them for a while. They all should be played okay. eventually. I keep so, forgetting we're at rare guitars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're, rare we're, guitars, different, so. we're different kind of guys. You know? Absolutely. <laughs> but I've held some guitars, and then now they're being played. We're putting them That's out, the and uh, so I think this is uh, this is a good thing to do. And thank you guys for watching the video, and thank you guys for helping out, Jason. Thank you. No worries. Thanks, Mark.